Hard. And you have to understand, Mason Stoddard of Winnicani, he went to state last year. He's a state qual returning state qualifier with a nice double leg. Mm. Very good double leg. Yep. Brooke has, we've seen a lot of success from Brooke. Particularly since uh, there's a girls' state championship this year for the first time in Wisconsin, and I'm telling you, Brooks can do very well in that. Uh, last time we saw her, she uh, had to pin. Yep. And then that double leg again. Boy, yep. he's got a really nice double leg. He sets Actually, it up. Actually, Winnicani, has, all of the wrestlers have pretty nice double legs. They, they practice that a lot. They have to. That is true. They've hit a lot yep. of double legs. Yep. Yep, Plymouth, Plymouth will travel to Oshkosh for the big tournament over the holidays, and then they come back, and they'll be in back taking on Kiwaskum on the 6th at Kiwaskum, and then they'll be home against Wapon on the 13th of January. So that's when we'll be back out here. We've got a little bit of time to wait. We Hopefully we'll see a, a lot of experience from these guys. Yeah, there was a stalling call. He, he's got to move a lot quicker on that. Well, the referee tonight, I should mention, is Tom Plattner. Tom uh, Plattner uh, has refereed... I bet he referees four or five times a week. He is, if he's not doing a middle school matches, he's doing high school matches, he's doing tournaments every weekend. Uh, he has been refereeing for many, many years. He's got the experience. His, he's from Cedar, Cedar Grove. His boys wrestled for Cedar Grove many years, several years ago. <laughs> yes. And uh, he has always had a love for wrestling. And so uh, when his boys were done wrestling, he started refereeing, and uh, and he does he's done a nice job. Yep, uh, I've seen. He uh, explains the error to the wrestler. That's what I like about it. I do too. Yeah, he very carefully explains why I have to call this uh, in the two, in the few times that he had to give a point for an illegal hold, or this was a stalling call, and he explained to the wrestler from Winnicott why it was a stalling, and and I think it and it was a good call yep. and to explain it out he might you know might be confusing but he was very deliberate in explaining hey yep. you got to make something happen you can't just trap the leg another double leg uh, he sets that up very nicely and then digs it switches Brooke to a fighting. single Brooke is fighting it this is tough he's gonna that is When you get the leg, single leg up that high, yeah. it's hard to get out of that. Six to two, 28 seconds left. Nice job getting to her feet, working the hands. Down to the final seconds of the first period. Working their way up, but uh, going to go into the second period, six to two. And we're going to have a little bit of uh, just cleanup. Yep. And it's going to be uh, Brooks' choice. She's going to defer. I think he would choose neutral. I was going to choose. Winnicott is going to choose down. down. They have not chose down. You expect them to take neutral, didn't you? Why They've been going takedowns all night. You know, why wouldn't you? Yeah. <laughs> maybe maybe the coach wanted him to work on his stand-ups or something. He's got, he got out, so uh, anybody want to? Uh-oh, cradled, inside cradle. That's a tough spot. That's takedown. Ouch. Here it comes. Rolls over. She's got to try to roll. No, no. He won't pin, but he'll get he'll two, get near, two fall. near fall on it. So it's 11 to 2. Oh, he pulls that arm back now. 
Now he'll come around underneath. Yep, here it comes. No. Good job. Brooke wow. got out of it. That was great job nice, by nice Brooke to get out yeah, of that. Nice job. Spinning. Oh, cradle again. Seconds. They go out of bounds. She's got to be careful of that. Yep. I think he's going to look for that again. You bet. You bet. There he goes. Let's up. 11 to 3. 45. There it is. There's that double leg. He does just a little bit of tap to the head. It's not quite there. She's locked in there pretty good. That's got to be a stalemate then soon. No control. They're going to call a stalemate here. I call it a little sooner than that, but yeah. Ten seconds left in the second period. He's just going to just tap that head and take the double leg. Trying to spin around. I like it right at the end, still going after that single leg. Yep. Sometimes you can get a little down on yourself yep. when you're getting, getting taken down and kind of beat up. But she has stayed active and aggressive. Brooke chose to ride here. Yep. She's trying to get the legs in, but it's there. Now she's getting over the knee. Nope, unable to. Stalemate. We'll start again. Oh, this is the last wait. We started yes. at 132, so this is the last match of the evening, and we've seen a very good Winnicani team, and we've seen some some neat things from Plymouth, though, some things that were kind of surprising, and, you know, we got we got kids working. Yes, we do. Uh, that's one thing we've seen. Uh, Plymouth knew coming in at Winnicani yep. is going to be really tough, but nobody has given up. They went after yeah. it. They tried as hard as they could, and, you know, that's what we want. Give it, give it your 100%. And that's what we're even talking about right here. Brooke is down 11 to 3. She is riding tough and trying to get back points. You know, always working. Yes. Uh, she slipped on it, I think. Can she keep going? She's got to get her leg free, though. Oh, ooh. I don't want to bend that leg too much. Yeah. Yeah. Nice, ooh, ooh. nice stop by Tom Plattner. Nice stop. 30 seconds left. Brooke has right, ridden very, very well, hasn't she? Yeah, the whole period. Yeah. This might be the escape right there. So 12 to 3. Yep. Wow. Right in. Fast. Immediately goes to that single leg. And steps over. Book again going to the waist. Just try to hang on here. Nope. Going to give up the takedown, making it 14 to 3 in the final seconds. Fourteen to three. Hey, let's not take it away from Brooke there. Boy, that was a and the winner at hundred. She didn't give up the uh, right. you know, she lost by eleven, but not fifteen, not the yep. tech ball. You gotta look for wins where you can. Yep. She wrestled really well against a state 
qualifier. From That's Winnicone. right. Uh, it was a big win for Winnicott. We knew they were very good coming in, and so Plymouth won one match, and that was good to see Silas Daly out there. He was our best wrestler, and he got the one win tonight head-to-head. Uh, -head. Yeah, and it was a good match for him. That it was, was nice. a great match. Uh, but I want to thank you for being here, Matt. I want to thank yeah. Conrad for being on the camera, and we'll see you next time with more Plymouth Wrestling.